Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. If I did, I'd still be that kid on the east side of Cleveland, Ohio, thinking nothing was possible. If I had listened to what you told me, I wouldn't have been sitting on my couch watching Ron Simmons in 1992 beat Vader for the World Heavyweight Championship. Changing the game for everybody that looked like me. Had I listened to what you told me, I would have left Ring of Honor when everybody told me that I should have. If I had listened to what you told me, that nobody like me was ever gonna be in this position, that nobody who says the things that I say, nobody that carries himself the way that I do, was ever supposed to challenge or win the Ring of Honor World Championship. I would've never tried. Yet here we are. Voted by the fans, overwhelmingly by the people. Shane Taylor challenges Roosh for the Ring of Honor World Championship. The contrast between the two of us couldn't be any different. Mexican royalty. The guy that they laid the red carpet out for and handed the Ring of Honor World Championship. Versus the street kid from the east side of Cleveland, Ohio, who was never supposed to make it. Who was never supposed to be here. I was supposed to be a statistic, right? I was supposed to be one that slipped through the cracks, right? Wrong! And not only am I here, but I brought all my people with me. Roosh, you have been Ring of Honor World Champion for almost a year. The change that you were supposed to bring, I've yet to see it. But the change that I bring, starts the very second I knock you out and take the Ring of Honor World Championship. We are entering a new era of professional wrestling, a new era in this country, a new era in society, and you're looking at the face that's leading the charge. What better place than here? What better time than now?